I know that I'm more at risk, but I don't know more than that. If you're pregnant in Quebec, you probably have one of these, a government book filled with advice and information about your gestational period and your future life with your baby. But during the pandemic and ever-changing information on COVID-19, you won't find anything about the virus, variants, or the vaccines in here, leaving some expecting moms to their own devices. When you're pregnant, you... you I can say you search for all kinds of information, right? I'm always on the web trying to <laughs> look out for, for symptoms. And now with the COVID, I'm like, I feel like with the variants, I, I, there's no information for me to look for, for the, when it comes to variants. So... Uh, I feel a bit, a bit helpless. Specialists encourage people like 31-year-old Caroline Vouligny, 40 weeks pregnant, who are in the age group of those most affected by variants, to ask their doctor for the best advice. Pregnant women want that information with regards to what to do if they are offered the vaccine and what risks they actually have with regard to COVID and pregnancy. The data surrounding vaccines and pregnant or breastfeeding women didn't initially exist during the clinical trials. They told us, okay, it wasn't tested on, on pregnant women and uh, uh, you shouldn't have the, the vaccine unless you're part of the uh, at-risk group. What we do know is there's about 20,000 of those women who actually ended up getting pregnant surrounding the time they got vaccinated for those trials. And there was actually no increased side effects that were observed or any safety signals that were even pointed out. According to a recent Harvard study, vaccinations in pregnant women may even provide the baby with antibodies for the virus through the umbilical cord or breast milk. Maybe I should take it in order for my my, my own born child to get uh, immunization. Pregnant woman or breastfeeding woman shouldn't be precluded from the vaccine. And so I, I do tell my pregnant uh, population, you know, I think it's a personal value choice. People have different beliefs. People have different um, thought processes. When it will be my turn, I'll think about it. I, I won't just... Uh, say to myself, oh no, uh, because I'm breastfeeding, I won't take the vaccine. As Quebec experiences a mini baby boom, Dr. Kassir warns of the risks associated with new variants and pregnancy. She says she witnessed 20% of the ICU at Mount Sinai Hospital in Toronto, consisting of pregnant women. We do unfortunately know that they are at those heightened risk of hospitalization, ventilation requirements, ICU admissions. And so I, you know, I, I always try and just reaffirm that they need to respect um, the rules and, and, and just be more prudent. I feel like if I stay home, they, I will not be uh, as affected, I suppose. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.